All right, welcome back to our video. Today I'm gonna showcase Rimuru. So let's place him down. He costs five hundred dollars to place, and his damage is seven hundred thirty six SPA, and the range is thirty. I mean, so far the range seems pretty small, but yeah. So the next upgrade costs seven hundred fifty. He plus five range and nine hundred damage. There's no increase in there's no decrease or increase in second per attack. So I'm gonna upgrade him. So now he does 1630 damage. Um, next upgrade is plus 5 range, no changes to the second per attack, and 1500 damage. It costs $1500. So I'm gonna upgrade it right here. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you guys the attack animation. So this is what it looks like for the first few upgrades. Just like, um, I'm pretty sure it's just a black lightning skill. Then the next upgrade or upgrade 3, the plus 10 range, no increase or decrease in SPA, plus 3000 damage and tornado absorption. So I'm gonna upgrade him right now. And now it becomes a Konewi and the range increases tremendously. However, there's still no changes in the second per attack. So that's what it looks like. It looks pretty good actually. So the next upgrade is upgrade 4 there's no changes to the range or spa it's just a damage upgrade plus 3500 damage so i'm gonna upgrade it right here and there we go so now it does 9630 damage range is 50 and 6 spa so the next upgrade or upgrade 5 um no changes to the range three second but uh, extra three second per attack and 7000 damage raining up raw so let's upgrade this so now remove is a full aoe now if I'm not wrong, this is Megadol. Yeah, this is Megadol right here. So now he's a full AoE. His second per attack is 9. And the next upgrade, or upgrade 6, we do not have any changes with the range or SPA. We only have increased with 10,000 damage and cost 4,500. So upgrade him right here. And that's his max. So upgrade 6 is his max. And now he hits air and also the ground. But um, again, the range, and I, I guess it's fine for a unit that should hit air and ground and also have a full AoE. I think I think this is pretty decent actually. Oh wait, what? It's increasing damage? Hold up, what? Wait. I just saw him increase in damage. I guess it, he increases damage every wave. Wait, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip to wave 12 and see if it actually increases damage here. What? Okay. Waiting for a wave to skip, but it's taking quite a long time here. Um, oh, there you go. The wave skipped. All right. Wave 12. And uh, yeah, increases fire to damage every wave. All right. That's pretty good, actually. Um, let's put on the urban buff here and see how good it is after the, you know, buff. Oh, crap. Okay, I, I feel the urban buff, whatever. Well, let's just. Let's do this, I don't care. How much damage does he do now? It, wow, okay, that's actually not a bad, actually. If you do like a full maximum max Owen buff, then you're probably going to do like... What? 100,000 damage? For a unit that hits air, ground, and also a full circle AoE, and also increases 500 damage every wave. I can't lie to you, this is actually pretty good. So yeah, um, that's him. Alright, this but yeah, that's basically much it for this video. There's nothing, nothing else I want to do, and yeah, um, it's a pretty powerful unit, I suppose. I uh, just want to add in the Owen buffs and stuff. Then yeah, it's gonna be pretty insane. And yeah, I want to say this unit is a bad unit. It hits the full circle AOE, so I want to say it's a bad unit. But yeah, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, then please make sure to leave a like. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.